I am glad to present The Lost Trace from 1972 by Ernst Fuchs. The Holy Night as a Real Dream Ernst Fuchs uses the printmaking technique of soft ground etching, also called Verni Mo, rediscovered by Felician Rops in the 19th century. In this process, the printing plate, which is covered with a soft waxy layer, is covered with a paper on which the drawing is applied and pressed into the background. The result is a soft line and the transfer of the paper grain to the plate. Combined with aquatint etching, Fuchs achieved an extremely painterly effect with an intense flatness of color. We are standing in a forest of Christmas trees at night. The burning candles combine with the twinkling stars and the white snowflakes to create a flurry of light that fills the night sky, while the snow, in turn, unfolds a white-blue luminosity. The face of Christ appears in the sky, with the wounds of the crown of thorns on his forehead. With his eyes closed, Christ seems to be dreaming the world. In the snow there are two faces, also with closed eyes, which form the surface of the world. The Christmas star literally falls on them. At Christmas, God does not appear alone above the world, he becomes present in the world itself, which Fuchs demonstrates through the immense footprint. He calls the graphic, the lost trace, but the trace in the picture does not disappear. It must be found and recognized, and then it also becomes clear that the trace is more than a trace. It is itself, as the steps of the hacking show, the path. The only path in the picture that leads to God as a motivic inversion of the ladder to heaven. With his pictorial depiction of the holy night, Ernst Fuchs succeeds in illustrating the mediating event that redeems the world beyond conventional iconography in a way that is as inspiring as it is mysterious. Thank you for your attention. I hope I have been able to show you the qualities of this work of art.